everyone welcome back to my channel today I am going to be giving you guys my first impressions and somewhat of a review on the new collection from KKW Beauty this is the Mrs. West collection the packaging on this is absolutely stunning and they're actually real photos of her wedding to Kanye West and this is how it comes packaged it's really kind of cool how it's snug in there the entire collection is sold out and it's my understanding that she will not be doing any relaunches on this it was just like a one-time thing because it was an anniversary of her wedding to Kanye West and she wanted to kind of make it a special collection for their anniversary this actually sold out in seven minutes so it sold out really quick I did set an alarm and I'm really glad I did the Bible collection I didn't buy the entire collection but I bought like the palette and stuff and I bought it like the next day after it launched so I'm really surprised that this sold out the way that it did I think just the overall look of it the packaging all of the pictures and the promo pictures and stuff like I felt like that was what really sold this collection the way that they did and the palette itself is absolutely beautiful but it's not like it's unique you know what I mean like it's beautiful and I love the way it looks but it's not like shades that you haven't seen before and at the end of the video I give you guys some alternatives to some palettes that I have in my collection I couldn't find all of these shades in just one palette so I do apologize for that some of them are not exact a few are pretty close to being exact but I wanted to give you guys some alternatives in case you missed out on the collection and I gave you some alternatives for the lipstick the lip liner and the palette itself this collection came with the palette a lip liner a lip gloss a lipstick a blush and a highlighter which I get into all of that later on in the video during the try on session if you guys are new to my channel welcome but as many of you guys know I really do love the KKW Beauty brand her brand alone is probably what I have most of like you know how if you go through your collection and you say okay well I have the most of Urban Decay out of any other brand what do I have the most of and I would say it would be the KKW Beauty I really love the contour sticks I like the concealer I'm obsessed with her lip liners I'm obsessed with her glosses they are my absolute favorite and that's the reason why I decided to buy the entire collection just because I do really love the brand the eyeshadows are really pigmented in my opinion they're high quality you know even though I'm not like a super huge Kim Kardashian fan although what I do think she's doing an amazing job you know helping people get out of prison and stuff has just been uh, really really remarkable and I admire her for using her platform to do something good and change people's lives so you know I'm starting to kind of warm up to her a little bit but I'm not like a super fan of any of the Kardashians but I absolutely love her brand so that's what we're doing today I hope you guys are excited about it without further ado let's jump right into the video Okay, so I have the Mrs. West collection right here, and I'm actually wearing my wedding, wedding ring in the video just because, you know, I thought it would be appropriate. But I never wear my wedding ring only because, first of all, my diamond kind of sticks up, and I never want to wear down the prongs. But second, the gold in it, it is 18 karat gold, I believe, and, you know, gold has a reaction with my skin, and it will kind of turn my skin around the gold kind of that like greenish weird shade if you guys know what I'm talking about so I wear it very rarely the only time I wear it is when we're going out um, you know when I leave the house and stuff but normally I just don't really wear it my husband hates it but anyway we're gonna get into playing with all the KKW Beauty products that I have here I really do like her brand and I kind of feel like it's a little bit underrated because she does have really good products and I almost feel like some people think that it's just, um, you know, maybe her brand is just a brand to have because she's rich and she's Kim Kardashian. But I will say, whatever team she has around her that's developing and creating these products, they do a really good job. As you guys know, one of my favorite products from her brand is the KKW Beauty Contour Sticks. Got a ton of them. I have her highlighter palette. I have her contour palette. 
I have all of her eyeshadow palettes, even the Bible, and I have so many of her lipsticks, it's ridiculous. Uh, I created a full video going through all the lipsticks and swatching them for you guys so you guys can see what they look like. I will leave that link up here in the iCards so you guys can check that out. So first things first, I want to add some contour. I'm in the shade Tan. So I like to just kind of put a little bit here. These contour sticks are really, really creamy and they work really well for me. Now I know that not everybody likes contouring and it's totally fine. Like, you know, I'm just now starting to kind of get into contouring. And for me, I like cream contour. It's easier for me to blend. Sometimes when I have a powdery contour, it's a little bit harder for me to blend. Sometimes I run a risk of it getting a little bit muddy on my skin. And I think it's just because I don't have like the best contouring technique, you know? I'm just starting to like really get into contouring and though I love the look of contouring I try you know it seems like when I use powder it just gets kind of muddy and when I use cream it just really cuts everything and it's just easier for me I also have to be careful contouring around my hyperpigmentation because sometimes it will grab it oh shit I forgot I need to put some concealer on <laughs> I get too carried away. So I'm going to use the KKW Beauty in shade 8. This is my preferred shade right now. During the winter I like shade 6 and during the summer I like shade 8. And shade 8 is a really nice shade just to give some brightness but you know I'm starting to kind of move away from having a really bright under eye. So let me give you guys some comparisons. So this is shade uh, six from Charlotte Tilbury, so it's even lighter than the KKW Beauty. This is shade six and this is shade eight. Okay, so the Jeffree Star Concealer in shade C18. So that's what that looks like next to it. And it's it's a little, it's still a little bit lighter, but almost close to it. Now here's my thing. If I wear shade six, I normally don't wear her brightening powder. I really love this brightening powder. It's a soft brightening powder and it's really, really finely milled but a little bit goes a really long way. So I don't recommend going in too much with this because you it will be a little bit too bright and sometimes it's a little bit harder to tone down. So if I wear shade six, I don't use the brightening powder. If I wear shade eight, I use the brightening powder. I'm gonna go in and just put a little bit right here and I'm gonna blend that out with my finger. Now this is a very smooth formula and I love the way this blends out and I wouldn't say it's like my number one favorite concealer. It was until I've discovered some of the others that I have, but it's a good concealer. It's not my number one favorite anymore, but it's still a good concealer. Okay, so to use the brightener, I'm just going to take a brush like this that's kind of soft and a little bit on the wispier side. I'm not exactly sure where I got this, but this is from Moda. So I'm gonna go into Brighten number one and then just lightly dust a little bit of that underneath. This is not a type of powder that you need to go in heavy with. This is not like a baking powder. So just be very careful with it because it can get a little bit too brightening, but it adds just a little bit of that brightening effect underneath the eye and kind of lifts and kind of wakes you up a little bit. So I really like it. I don't use it all the time, no, uh, but I do like it. I think it's a good product. If you've been wanting something to brighten your under eye with uh, and not wanting to go really light on your concealer, that one's a good one. Okay, I'm going to use the powder just to kind of set here in my T-zone area before I go in with a bunch of blush. So this is her baking powder and I have it in shade one and I do like her powders. Now you guys know I'm not like a huge fan of baking powder and I don't bake and kind of, you know, do all that, but this is a good powder. Do I feel like it's like something different that other powders don't offer? No, not really. I think it's a good powder, but I don't see, I don't think that it's like there's something unique about it. You know, it's a good quality. It's not any different than any other powders out on the market. It's no different than the Fenty Beauty or the Magic Star or uh, my other one that I really like is the Hourglass. I even like the Charlotte Tilbury Loose Tending Powder. I think they're all really good products. So I don't feel like this one's any different. Now let's move on to blush. I'm gonna use this blush that came in the kit. 
It's just a really pretty light dust of pink and I like it. So here are the swatches of the blushes. This sh first shade right here is the newest shade. That one is called Flower Wall and that one is described as a warm mid-tone pink. So this shade right here is called Grace and it is described as a pink rose with light gold pearl. And then this shade right down here is called Destiny and it is a terracotta peach and it is one of my favorites as you can tell it's really really pretty i love peach so you know there you go that's what the three blushes look like next up we're going to put on the highlighter so this is in the shade forever let me show you what glitz and glam looks like mm, there's not much difference between these two shades this one is the new one this one is forever right here as you can see that one's forever and then this one is glitz and glam so really you guys there's not a lot of differences between this two so if you missed out on getting this one and you like the shade of it glitz and glam i would say it's just a shade little bit darker now i personally love her highlighter palette my daughter stole it from me i gotta order me another one you guys she literally stole it right out of my beauty room damn i was pissed i'm just gonna take my fan brush and lightly dust this over the cheek she does make good highlighters like I really like the way that they look the way that they apply okay so I have four of the ultra light beams so I wanted to swatch them for you so you could see what sh the shades look like so I don't know if copper is still available but that's what copper looks like the first shade right here this shade right here is the new one I got and it is in the shade peach you kind of have to pack that one on to get this intensity this one is just like one swipe and you get the intensity these you kind of have to pack them on just a little bit this is what they look like so they kind of have the powder down in what i like to do is just take like a wet brush wet it down and go down in there and kind of do this motion and then go in and, and apply it this one is the shade bronze this one over here on the end is called iridescent so she has seven shades of these total and i think they're really pretty now as as i told you guys earlier i have all four of the palettes so this one is the bible palette it's a really pretty just kind of a cool tone palette this shade right here is absolutely gorgeous it's kind of a gray green it's really pretty so this is the classic palette this is the one that I reached for the most out of her entire collection I think the shades are so pretty and they're just really easy to work with blendable this is one of my favorite palettes and then this one is the classic blossom palette and it's very beautiful for those of you that love those like pinky purple moments. This one is really, really pretty. And the thing that I will say about her shimmers is that they are very smooth and easy to blend and easy to apply. This purple right here, this one right here is so pigmented, but it's absolutely beautiful and easy to work with. I just don't think her eyeshadow palettes get the credit that they deserve because they're formulated really good. They're not too soft and they're not too chalky. They're kind of in the middle, very easy to blend, decent pigmentation. Like I like her palettes. And then finally, this is the first palette that she came out with and this is the KKW Beauty Mario palette. And I really, really like this palette as well. So we're going to play with this one. So this is what Mrs. West looks like. Actually, the thing that I love about this palette the most is that this shade right down here on the bottom is called May 24th, which was the day that got married. And that's actually my birthday. So I really love that one of the shades is my birthday. So that's kind of cool. I like that. I'm going to go in with this shade first, which is called Please Marry Me. I'm going to go ahead and pop that shade right below the brow bone just to kind of give it a nice pop and I, I don't want to take it down too low but I do want to give that nice pop of color and I'm gonna pop some of that on the inner corner as well next I am going to go into that shade mrs. West this one right here so I'm just gonna start kind of building this in the crease keeping it here in the crease it's a really pretty shade. I can already tell that's really pretty. And I'm just kind of going back in and just kind of building up that shade. I'm kind of just playing around with just this shade. Basically using that shade to kind of create the beginning of this look. But it's really easy to blend. I want to go into this shade right here, which is called Field of Dreams. 
and I want to kind of just like place that right in this crease just to kind of give it a little bit of dimension and bring a little bit of the rosiness to the look. I'm going to take my pencil brush, I'm going to go into May 24th and I'm going to bring that along the lower lash line. Then I'm going to go into that rosy tone, Field of Dreams. Kind of place that over top. I'm going to go into this shade right here, which is called Mrs. West, this one right here. And I'm going to spray it down and kind of just press this in the middle. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of Mrs. West, or May 24th. And I'm going to buff out the edges with May 24th. So for mascara, I bought the one from KKW Beauty. I actually wore this yesterday when I was gardening. And I thought, this is going to be a good way for me to test this. Because I'm going to be sweating. You know how you are when you're gardening. You're kind of a mess, right? This mascara was like budge proof. So this one kind of brought some length to my lashes. It didn't give me a lot of thickness, but it gave me the length. So I like the wand on this. The wand isn't bad. It's a little bit bigger than I would prefer, but it's not bad. It's not as big as some. Some are just like so big that I was like, what in the hell am I going to do with this? I mean, I was really impressed with the way that this mascara held up yesterday. And I thought, you know what, if it can hold up like that with me doing gardening work, then I think it's going to be a pretty decent mascara. I didn't have any raccoon eyes. It didn't budge. Okay, so let's move on to the lip. So again, we have the lip pencil, the lipstick, and a new gloss, which I love her glosses. Now, I will say right off the bat, this gloss has a little bit of a gritty texture. So a, a subscriber of mine had reached out and said, hey, have you got your gloss yet? Um, this one has a gritty texture. Check yours and see if it does. And so I did and it does. Now I asked on, I don't really like the texture of it. It's a soft, it's like a really finely milled grit too. None of the other glosses, you guys, I have every single gloss in her entire line. Every gloss. Even this, which these glosses have a shimmer. So the other glosses that I, that I have do not. They're just like a solid color of pigment. These have a little bit of a glitter to them. None of them have a gritty texture. I don't know why this one has a grit, but I'm not like a huge fan of it. I'm just gonna be honest with you. Asked on the KKW Beauty Instagram comment in the section, I was like, hey, um, is it normal for my gloss to have a little bit of grit? They never responded. I did send an actual email to KKW Beauty. This is what they responded back with. Some of the shades are going to have a different formula depending on finish, color, etc. These glosses may have a slightly different formula which would result in a different texture. We have verified with our quality assurance team that your gloss is safe to use. If the Mrs. West collection was your first like purchase and you're judging all of the glosses based on this one, don't because none of the other ones that I have, including Juicy, Lust, all of them, none of them have this gritty texture. So just know that. All right, let's go ahead and put the lip liner on. This one is the middle one, okay? This is the new one, which is this one right here. This one is Nude 2, and this one is Nude 1.5. So. It is very similar, almost exact, you guys. It's almost exact to the Nude 1.5. So for those of you that maybe missed out on the collection and you wanted the lip liner, 1.5, the Nude 1.5, in my opinion, is exactly the same. All right, let's go ahead and put the lipstick on. So again, this is in the shade Love. I've always said this. Her lipsticks, I absolutely love, but they do have a crayon-y type of scent to them. This shade is beautiful. Holy shit skis. That shade is gorgeous. Mmm, so pretty. Okay, so I have peach one, peach two, and then I have pink one. So let me swatch it next to them just so we can see what the shade looks like compared to these others. So that's peach one, peach two, this is the new one love, and then this is pink one. Now, I also have pink four, but I think this one is going to be way darker. Yeah, so that's pink four. So I would say this one right here is a mixture between these two, but I'll be honest with you, it's really close to this shade. This one right here, this is the peach one. Peach one is just a tad bit brighter 
than this shade Love. So if you missed out on this collection and you want that lipstick, I think this one right here would work perfectly. Now this is what the gloss looks like swatch. So it's just a really pretty light pink. So that is what Juicy looks like and that's what the new one looks like. But it kind of reminds me of this one from Bobbi Brown. This one is the Bobbi Brown. It kind of has the same tone. This is the Crushed Liquid Lip in shade Lache Baby. So Lache Baby looks a lot like this one right here. As you can see, they have somewhat of a similar look. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop a little bit of the gloss right here. Mmm, damn. Do you guys see how pretty that is? So I wanted to go through some of my palettes and give you guys some alternative shades to this palette in case you guys missed out on it. I'm assuming that you guys probably have these in your collection. So this is the Norvina palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills, the Soft Glam from Anastasia, and the new Nudes palette from Huda. So I found a few shades in those palettes that are very similar to some of the shades in this palette. The only one I couldn't find is this shade. I didn't think that shade would be the hard one to match, you know, but it's kind of just a light baby pink, but it has a tint of like peach to it. And it's, it's, it's a different shade that I didn't think would be hard to do, but I mean, there it is. So here's my arm of alternatives. Now, again, these are not exact, but they're kind of close. And as you kind of blend them out, they're pretty close. So this shade right here is this shade in the palette, this darkest shade, which is called Just Married. So that's what Just Married looks like. This shade right here is from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam palette, and it's the shade uh, Cypress Umber. So that's what Cypress Umber looks like. Now again, this is just a tad bit darker, but I think once you kind of blend them out, like if you do like a light swatch of these, kind of similar. I mean, this one has a little bit more of a gray, but they're not too bad. They're not too bad. The, the other one down here that's pretty close, this one is Mrs. West. This is the one I have in my crease from the KKW Beauty palette. This one right here, okay? And then this one right next to it is this one in the Soft Glam palette, the Rustic. So these two shades right here could be a nice alternative. They're not exact, but they're a nice alternative as you can see. They kind of have similar undertones and I mean, they work. Now, this shade right here is Please Marry Me. This shade right here is from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina palette. And it is this shade right here called Dreamer. So Dreamer is somewhat similar. Dreamer has a tad bit more of a rosy undertone. Now, this shade right here in the palette, which is called Mrs. West, that's what's on my lid. That's what this shade looks like right here swatched, which is also very similar to Dreamer from the Norvina palette. But I also have this shade from the Huda Beauty palette. That is the shade Crave right there. So that's the shade Crave in the new nudes. And they're kind of similar. They're not exact, you guys, but they're somewhat similar. You can kind of get somewhat of a look. You know, we're trying to look for the same tones, kind of same family of a shade. And I would say you could probably get the same look with these shadows that I'm talking about. So this one right here is this shade, which is Filled of Dreams, this one right here. Now this one is almost an exact shade. This one is from the new Nudes palette and it's this shade right here. So it's Teddy. I almost think that's almost an exact match. So I just wanted to kind of show you guys some alternatives in case you missed out on the palette and you were curious. As you guys know, recently I have been shouting out to creators in my videos. Not every video, but I am going to be shouting them out quite frequently. So today's shout out goes to a wonderful creator that I absolutely love and adore. Her name is Morgan Turner. She's actually a makeup artist and she does great makeup. She's beautiful. She's always on top of the newest products and she is an expert in all things Pat McGrath. She's obsessed with Pat McGrath. And so I always trust her judgment when it comes to anything Pat McGrath or anything real high end. She does really good reviews. She's really, really sweet. And like I said, she's a makeup artist. So her opinion really matters to me and I really adore her. She's a beautiful, beautiful girl, got a good head on her shoulders. She just graduated 
graduated from college and Morgan, I just want you to know that you are the cutest and I love you to pieces and she has a great channel that's growing so fast. I think the last time I checked, she was close to 15,000, so she's growing fast. Definitely check out her channel. I will leave a link in the description box down below. Let her know that you are part of my family and show her some love because she deserves it. She's an amazing, amazing makeup artist that is so talented and deserves just the utmost love and respect. So, Morgan, I love you. That's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up thank you guys again for all the love that you guys show me and this channel it means the world to me and I hope you guys have a wonderful day I will see you guys in my next video and I love you all so much bye